welcome to Convivial Tech. In this video, I want to show you how to unlock virtually any LG with FRP. Now, our case study will be LG G7 ThinQ, and I'll show you it's um, FRP currently. So the phone is currently locked. I I wiped the phone and it went into FRP. So I have to do an FRP bypass. And doing the FRP bypass on LG phones are quite hectic and they can be confusing for most people. But I want to show you the easiest means of doing it for a whole lot of phones including the LG V50, V50s, V60 and some of the Q series, the G series etc. So this phone after checking for updates and all those stuff it would ask me for the email. It, when it asks for email which I don't have at the moment and won't be able to provide Please, this is an educational video. Please don't do it on another person's phone if you don't have the right access to the phone. Okay, I'm having a little network issue. Oh. Checking info. So it's asking for my pattern or my Google account, which I don't have at the moment. So I'll head over to my PC. Now on the PC, uh, here are some things you need. You need an LG driver for your LG phone. You need a Qualcomm Snapdragon driver for your LG too, for it to be able to boot into uh, download mode for Qualcomm phones. And you also need this software. For the LG drivers, I already made a video for that. You can check in the description below to get the link to the video. The one for Qualcomm still in the description. Then the these two you need is from this site, some FRW, some FW sorry. Dot com. So. I'll go to it. This is not what I asked for. I'll change my network. Okay, I've changed network. I'm having a little network glitch at the moment. I don't know why I'm having this. Okay, it's working now. So when you get to this site, samfw.com, quickly head, um, head over here to this, samfrp2. Then this is as at the time of this video, this is the latest some FW to 4.9. You have to download it to download, just go down to the bottom of the page and you get to the bottom. You 
you use this direct link to download okay let me start the download although i've already downloaded so this is it blah blah, blah version 4.9 you open it up then start your installation process this should take you a minute or two depending on how fast your pc is and i believe you know how to install so let's skip that part i'll make sure you are connected to the internet then open your some fw2 version 4.9 It will ask you for admin changes and all that. So grant it admin change, admin privilege, sorry. Okay, this is the installation part, but I don't need it anymore because I already have it on my PC. checking for updates this is the latest update so we're using the latest version and i'm in now head over to the lg tab then edl blah 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 edl welcome 908 now my phone is lg g7 thank you i'll look it g7 Thank you. It is LM G710. It can work for G6, G5, Q6, G8, G8X, G8S, V2030, 3540, 5050S, 60. At least for the time being. Now you can use this to do a factory reset or an FRP, which is what you want to do. Now, at this point, I will have to connect my LG phone to the PC since I already have my driver, drivers installed. If you have just your LG driver installed, you will be seeing LG, Android Net, USB modem, com, whatever, depending on your USB port. Then this serial port on, but we'll leave it at this. Now, the next phase is to boot your device into Qualcomm download mode. Qualcomm e So to boot into EDL mode, all you have to do is to hold down your volume down button while holding on to your power button and then is a countdown a first second countdown appears four three two one as the screen goes black multi tap on your volume up button and the screen will stay black meaning you've successfully booted into EDL mode. And then on your screen, your LG Android Net USB modem will change to Qualcomm. Now, volume down button plus power button. After the four seconds countdown, as the screen goes black, double tap, multi tap on your volume up button and you will get into it. So I'll hold down the two while keeping my hand on this. The four second countdown, three, two, one. So that's it on the screen now you can see Qualcomm HS USB QD loader meaning I've successfully put it into my EDL mode. Volume down button plus power button after the first second countdown multi tap on your volume up button and you will be here. Now on this page you have to select your exact phone. I'm, ha I'm having a G7 here. You can do it for Q6, G5, G6, up to V60 as at the time of this video. So I'll select my G7. I can do a factory reset from here or I can remove FRP. And I'll, the point of this video is to do FRP. So I'll click on FRP, connecting to device, reading information, blah, 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 blah getting partition map and everything you 
using FRP rebooting. Now I do not want to so the phone should restart any moment from now. LGG seven ten Q restarted. I've successfully removed the FRP. Just wait for it to put up. So it has booted up. Next, skip. There's no need for use Wi Fi, so next, skip anyway. Next, more. Next, accept. No thanks. Skip. Not now, skip anyway. So, this is how to easily remove FRP on virtually all LG phones with your PC. You don't have to pay anyone else to do this, you just have to watch this video, learn how to do it and you are good to go. So I'll agree on all, done and I can now set up my phone, do whatever I want to do with it, about phone, okay, G7 Q, go to software, Android 9, G7 Pen, which is what it should be so this is it this is how to remove frp see you in another video if you want to learn more about how we do this kind of stuff please like and subscribe on this channel and you'll be the first to receive our notifications immediately we drop more exciting videos see you in another video